Welcome back. Last segment, we defined where space begins, 100 kilometers above the Earth's surface, or about 60 miles. And we noted that this is a hard limit for policy. You are subject to different laws and regulations above and below this height. But it's an arbitrary physical limit, and there are still trace amounts of atmosphere to much higher altitude. In this segment, we'll define and name various regions where satellites orbit. So this is an animation that I'll come back to several times throughout the course. What you are seeing is all known objects around the Earth that are bigger than about one meter. More than 8,000 objects, although that number is rising daily. Some of these are functional satellites, some of this is space debris, and we'll dig into what and how much stuff is in orbit a little bit later. What I want you to take away from this animation now is that objects orbiting Earth are not randomly distributed. So there's a swarm of objects really close to Earth, and there's this ring or ribbon of stuff farther away, and in between there's a handful of objects. So let's formally define these orbits. First, that region really close in is called low Earth orbit. Low Earth orbit is defined between 100 and 2,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface, although most of the action is taking place between 300 and 1,000 kilometers. Low Earth orbit, LEO, is often called LEO by the cool kids. And if you can name something in space, there's a good chance it's in LEO. The International Space Station, low Earth orbit, LEO. All the space shuttle missions, LEO. You may have also heard of these mega constellations that are being launched to provide broadband satellite internet. Things like Starlink or OneWeb, these are all in LEO. And we will focus more on LEO, low Earth orbit, more in the next few segments. The next region is medium Earth orbit, MEO, or MEO. These are things between about 2,000 and 30,000 kilometers. And this is where GPS, the Global Positioning System, uh, those, that's where those satellites orbit. When you're on your phone, like trying to figure out how to get from here to there, you're using satellites that are in MEO, in medium Earth orbit. This region is a pretty nasty place to be a satellite, and we'll explore more why when we focus on this region. The third region that we'll talk about is geosynchronous orbits, or GEO. There are, these are at 35,000 kilometers beyond the Earth's surface. Typically, weather communication satellites are put in geosynchronous orbits. And note, GEO is just a number. This is a fairly thin region or ribbon of space. And by this point, you can guess that I'll explain why this is in a few segments from now. So coming back to the animation that we've seen several times, I can now label these regions. LEO, low Earth orbit, are objects really close to the Earth. MEO, medium Earth orbits, are farther out. And now we have a name for this ring or ribbon of objects, GEO, or geosynchronous orbits. And in the next segment, we'll come up with a way to describe and quantify these orbits, and then we'll dig into each of these regions separately.